Hi, this is Daniel. Uh, I wanted to say thank you so much for renting my Tesla Model 3 from Turo. I really appreciate you and I want you to have an amazing trip. So I just wanted to make this quick video to give you an overview of the Model 3 that it's gonna really help you enjoy your trip and uh, maximize uh, this car and what you can do in this car. And so the first thing is if you wanna connect your phone via Bluetooth, just press this Bluetooth icon right here. Um, the other big thing with uh, Tesla's is charging. Now, they have made it really easy to navigate to charge stations, to find charge stations. You're simply going to just press the screen here. When you do, it pulls up these three icons. Press the one, the bottom one that looks like a charger. Uh, whoops, let me do that again. Press that. It's going to pull up all the nearby chargers. It tells you how far they are away. And also on the map, it shows you where they are in relation to where you're at. So it's very easy to find charger stations. And then simply press the address of the one you want to go to. It navigates to the supercharger station. It tells you what time you're going to get there, how long it's going to take you, and how much uh, charge you're gonna have when you get there. So definitely you want to utilize that for a couple reasons. Um, number one, it makes it easy, but um, the other big reason is it preheats the battery as you're going to the charging station, which makes your charging quicker and it's also better for the battery. So please um, navigate to the charger stations. So if you want to end trip, you just press end trip. And if you want to put in an address, uh, any address you can put in here in the navigate menu and it will navigate anywhere you want it to go to. Now regarding charging, also go, going back to charging really quick, let me show you the, where the charging port is. So the charging port is on the driver's side. It is right here next to this uh, tail light. If you press that, pops open. Um, simply when you get to the charger station, you're going to plug it in here. Now when you're done, you have to press down a button to release it, pull it out, and then this will go down automatically. So a couple other things are um, how to get it into drive. So let me pull down on this. So here is if you press in the brake, it's going to give you these options on the top left, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. So if you want to get it from park into drive, you're going to use this gear stock here. There's two, two gear stocks here behind the steering wheel. So you're going to use the right gear stock, simply press down, and that puts it in drive. And if I want to go back into park, see this little button right here on the end of the gear stock, push that in, it goes back into park. If you want to go into reverse, push up on the gear stock. That puts you in reverse to go back into park, push the button that puts you back in park. Um, your turn signals are right here on the left gear stock, press down uh, for, uh, for left and up for right, as you would imagine. Um, also, Teslas have regenerative braking. So when you let off, the, this is gonna be a different sensation if you've never driven a Tesla. When you let off the brake, or I'm sorry, when you let off the gas, it automatically is going to slow you down. Um, this puts energy back into the battery and actually recharges the battery. So um, so expect when you let off the gas, it will automatically slow you down. Um, you Once you get used to this, you won't hardly use the brakes. Um, of course, there is a brake and you can use that and you'll need to use it if you need to stop really quickly. Um, but other than that, you won't have to use it as much as you're used to because it, it does regenerative braking and it'll slow you down on its own. Now I'm gonna send you a invite to the Tesla app. And the Tesla app is gonna be your key for the trip. And it will also be uh, it, how you get in and out of the, the car. And also it, it's your key to, to get the vehicle going. But so simply if you have your phone on you and you have the app, the car knows when you get in, you just press the brake. Or yeah, press the brake and uh, put it into gear and you're off and running. Um, the other thing is I'm going to give you the vehicle usually at above 80%. As you can see, it's at 85 right now. Um, you want to bring it back with the same amount of charge that you found it. Otherwise, you're going to get hit with a recharging fee and you don't want to get hit with that. So but just make sure you bring it back charged above 80%. It doesn't have to be at 100%, but just above 80%. Um, there is a window shade cover right here on the next to the passenger seat. Um, please use that. It'll help keep the car cool. Um, it gets really warm in Arizona, so this, this is essential. Um, other than that, have an amazing trip. Um, I hope this was helpful. I want you to have an amazing trip. Do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions whatsoever. I, I will be happy to answer any questions you might have. You can text me or message me through Turo. Either one is fine. Or even call me if you really need to. So other than that, have an, ama have an amazing trip and have fun.